Today we are here in downtown Toronto along the harbor front. So today we're just going to take a nice little stroll down, see what there is to do in and around the area. And um, yeah, we'll have a fun time. So we'll see where it takes us. So right here and over there and over there and over there, there are a ton of spots where you can actually go and rent a canoe or kayak and you can take it out into Lake Ontario and you know, go for a nice little ride. Here's another shot of all of the canoes slash kayaks and stuff like that that is available for rent, which you can rent right over there. And it's also right near the CN Tower if you're wondering for reference where this is. So on this little beach area here with all the umbrellas, it's right on the water and there are tons of those umbrellas with like um, beach chairs that you can go, you can sit, there's tons of places down there to grab takeout and you could bring. And yeah, it's just a cool place um, for you to come, you can chill out for the day. I've been seeing this bridge here for a while online, but I've never actually seen it in person. Look at this thing. I don't think you're actually supposed to walk on those really steep parts, but whoa. Look, we're like going down. This is really cool. So I learned that it is called the Simcoe Wave Deck. So kind of a weird name, but go click the link up in the iCard right now to watch my video from Lake Simcoe. So you can see here, there is a huge bike trail that just goes on and on all the way down the waterfront. I think at points it actually goes by the water too, but here it is just uh, along the road so bikers have a safe place to ride. So back here is the harbor front center, this whole huge building, and they basically have free art exhibits and things where you can go inside, play around. There's a ton of cool little things inside, little Easter eggs, but right now it is completely closed, so you can't actually enter the building, but we'll come back and make a video when it is open after COVID, I guess. So here is a giant milk carton. I don't really know why. It's lactose free. Kind of interesting. But then right behind that you can see there's a nice water feature over there. There's the CN Tower. There's a Harbor Front Center sign. So yeah, by the way, this is the back of Harbor Front Center, which we hit a little bit earlier. So we walked all the way around and we came, saw those boats. But yeah, um, I don't know what this milk's doing here, but yeah, that's something. So I think this is where they might do shows on the stage. You can see the stage isn't really there and this is all sort of boarded off right now. But I think this is the part of Harborfront Center where they do shows. It looks actually really cool. It's like a nice venue. There's a little bar over there. It's cool. So patios in the city are open, yet dine-in or not. They'll probably be open when Toronto enters stage three in the next one to two, maybe three weeks, or probably next week. There are so many boats here. See, there's like at least 30 here. And then you can actually, I'll zoom in, and you can see there's a two-story patio there, which is pretty cool. So you can eat on the top or the bottom. And that place is called the Amsterdam Bar Brew House. There are a ton of these little like gelato slash ice cream mini shops around here, but they all seem to be closed today, so that's kind of weird.
So that's pretty much gonna wrap up our afternoon at Toronto Harbor Front. So it's cool, there's a lot of cool boats, but if you're coming during COVID times, people don't really care about distancing that much because someone just jumped in front of my shot and like literally was on top of me. So you can be aware of that. There's some nice views, the CN Tower, and of course the whole skyline. It's um, super nice. We'll need to make an updated video once Harbor Front Center opens so we can actually do and see the stuff around that. But thank you so much for watching. You can click here to watch my playlist on other Toronto tourism videos and the one below of a video that's suggested for you. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to, be sure to subscribe for some more Toronto videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.